Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll show you how to use the boundary control function types in the Structured Solver. So I'm going to select this domain and go to Grid, Solve, and go to the Edge Attributes tab. You'll notice that all of the edges of this domain are highlighted in white. What I'm able to do in this tab is control the spacing off of the boundary as well as the angle the grid line makes at the boundary. Okay, I can specify those constraints directly within this tab. Now, how strictly those constraints are enforced is going to be dictated by the boundary control function type that's specified. The default is von Levante Hilgenstock White, which is going to strictly enforce those constraints almost exactly at the boundary, both the angular and spacing constraints at the boundary. So in this example, the angular constraint is set to orthogonal. So if we go to the Solve tab and hit Run, you can see that it is enforcing orthogonality at that boundary at the cost of some grid quality and smoothness, and in some instances, uh, elliptic solver stability. If I change this to Steger Sorensen, Steger Sorensen is going to more approximately satisfy those constraints and sometimes result in a smoother grid, specifically in this example and some concave regions where you might see some pinching from the von Levante Hilgenstock White boundary control function type. So I'm going to go to the Solve tab and hit Initialize and then run this and you can see that it's a much smoother resulting grid and you can see it's approximately satisfying the orthogonality condition at that lower boundary. So those are the boundary control function types in the Structured Solver. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.